All right. Let's have a look at this super fun song called Poems and Closing Time by Zach Bryan. And we have our G. No capo, by the way, sorry. G. D. A. I like this, my weird fingering for A. String 4 fret 2, string 3 fret 2, and string 2 fret 2. You can do it with two finger, or three fingers like this and strum from the 5th string down. Or I just like to hold down string 4 and string 3 with my 1st finger and use my 2nd finger to hold down to hold down string 2. Sorry about that. A couple of strings out of it. Tune there drive me crazy. That's better. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it, this fingering of A makes it easier to get to other chords like G, like D, and like B minor, no matter what kind of B minor you're using. So there are advantages to that. Even to get to an A chord, it's a little, or an E chord, it's a little easier. Um, okay, and then B minor, one fret two, two fret two, three fret four. It's like a little set of stairs. Boop, boop, boop. And you strum from the fourth string down. All right, so let's get into it. Then we'll talk about strum patterns and all that. back to that in a sec. So it doesn't tell you, but there's an intro. And you just take the first four chords in the chorus, G, D, A, and B minor, and go through those twice with this strum pattern. Down, 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 up, down. Pair, pair, apple, pair. Down, 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 up, down. Then there's a quick transition to the D, listen. Down, down, So it's the same strum pattern for D, but you get there real fast. So G, D, down, down, up, down, 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 D. So going from G to D and then going from A to B minor, there's a quicker transition, but the strum pattern is the same. do that pattern twice for the intro then you continue that pattern into the chorus one two three four times then the solo continue that pattern you do the solo uh do the pattern twice and now we're up to the verse already here's the end of the solo Again. 
I'm just gonna keep going because it looks like the same. Okay, so actually I'm gonna stop the song. I don't wanna waste your time. Um, if you go back to the, after the, the solo, um, the, the first solo, sorry. Then the verse, you do the pattern, the strum pattern four times. For the bridge, you do the, the strum pattern, or not not the strum pattern, the, the chord pattern two times, a G, D, A, B minor, do it two times, uh, four times for the verse, like I said. The solo, the second solo, you only do once the chord pattern, G, D, A, B minor. And then the chorus after that, four times, and the outro, two times. So you're just gonna keep on going G, down, down, up, down, D, down, down, up, down, A, down, down, up, down, B minor, down, down, up, down. You see me doing a big B minor, that's, that's okay. That, that, I'm just used to doing that. You, this is the B minor you, you're gonna do. Okay, for now, until you know, your hands are strong enough to do the big B minor. So have fun with this song, and uh, hit me with any questions anytime, and I'll hook you up. All right, thanks.